Hello everyone, I am Kushan Najad and I proudly introduce to you Sudoku Math, a perfect puzzle for brain exercise. Okay, let's look at the rules. First of all, all traditional Sudoku rules apply. Every row must contain numbers from 1 to 9, every column must contain numbers from 1 to 9, and every box must contain numbers from 1 to 9. On top of the basic rules, we have basic math operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. When you see a plus sign, it means the numbers on either side of the plus sign must add up to the number in the middle. When you see a minus sign, it means the number in the middle is equal to the difference between the numbers on the sides. When you see a multiplication sign, it means the multiplication of the numbers on the side is equal to the number in the middle. Division is the most tricky one. It means if you divide the bigger number on the side by the smaller number on the side, you should get the number in the middle. Note that the bigger number on the side should be divisible by the smaller number on the side. Now let's use an example and see how this new rule will help us solve the puzzle. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Something multiplied by 4 is equal to 8. It is 2. Something plus 1 is equal to 5. It is 4. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. This one is a bit different. We need a number between 1 and 9 whose difference from 1 is equal to 5. That number is 6. Here we need a number between 1 and 9 whose difference from 4 is equal to 3. There are two possibilities, 1 and 7. Based on Sudoku rules, 1 cannot be there, so the correct number would be 7. This is where it gets interesting. Look at the red cells. Based on the Sudoku rules, 7 could be in one of those two. But if we put it next to that multiplication sign, then it means 7 multiplied by something would be 6, which is not possible, so 7 would be in the other cell. Here is another example. Whenever you see a multiplication, since in each row or in each column no number can repeat, we can have two possibilities. 2 times 3 is equal to 6, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Here we have the number 6 in the middle, so the other two numbers must be 2 and 3. Based on Sudoku rules, 2 and 3 can be decided. Here we have another multiplication. There are two possibilities, as mentioned before. 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and 2 times 4 is equal to 8. But the first one is not possible because of the Sudoku rules. So we know 8 goes in the middle and 2 and 4 will go to the sides. And based on the Sudoku rules, we can decide where 2 goes and we can decide where 4 goes. When dividing, there are 4 possibilities. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2, and 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Having said that, when dividing, the result would be either 2, or 3, or 4. Now look at the highlighted cells. The middle one, based on the Sudoku rules, cannot be 2 or 4, so it has to be a 3. That way, we can decide the other cell as well, which would be a 6. 
Using the same method, the middle cell cannot be 2 or 4 based on Sudoku rules, so it has to be a 3 because we are dividing. And the other two has to be 2 and 6, which can be decided using...